In the ever connected world of computers, information flows between servers like busy bees. Keeping things running smoothly can be tricky. This is where a simple but powerful concept of heartbeat comes in. In the context of distributed systems and networking, a heartbeat typically refers to a signal or message sent at regular intervals to indicate that a node, device or component is functioning correctly and is still alive. Heartbeats are a fundamental mechanism for monitoring the health and availability of resources in a distributed environment. In this video, we will dive into the world of heartbeats in computers. We will explore how heartbeats work, how they are used to detect problems, some of the common heartbeat detection mechanisms and discuss their implications with plenty of cool real-world examples which will not only solidify your understanding of heartbeats, but you will also appreciate their importance in system design and distributed systems. So buckle up and get ready to learn about the secret sauce behind keeping everything running smoothly in complex systems. The operation of heartbeat mechanism depends on the specific context and system in which it is used. Generally, a heartbeat works by sending periodic signals or messages between nodes or components in a distributed system to confirm their operational status and detect failures. Periodically, each node or server sends a heartbeat message to its peers. Servers employ a communication strategy known as knock-knock system to streamline their interactions. Every now and then, servers give a little knock-knock to their neighbors, letting them know they are still awake and ready to work. This quick check-in helps with two big things, routing and failure detection. When a new task arises, a server needs to identify the most suitable teammate to handle it. Servers can consult the collective heartbeat data to determine the appropriate destination for incoming requests. Rather than engaging in a time-consuming search, servers quickly utilize knock-knock signal to review recent activity and pinpoint the best candidate for the job. Failure detection relies on the absence of expected heartbeat messages. If a node or server does not receive a heartbeat message from a peer within the expected time frame, also known as the timeout period, it may assume that the peer has failed or is unresponsive. When a server's heartbeat stutters or stops entirely, it triggers an alarm. Other servers alerted to the missing pulse can take necessary actions like rerouting requests or initiating failover procedures. This collaborative effort prevents disruptions and maintains system reliability, similar to team members stepping up when a colleague encounters a challenge. Now, in a distributed system, multiple nodes or components need to monitor each other's health and availability. The heartbeat mechanism is initialized by configuring settings such as the frequency of the heartbeat messages and the addresses of nodes to communicate with. Nodes or components continuously listen for incoming heartbeat messages from their peers. When a node receives a heartbeat message from a peer, it acknowledges the receipt to confirm that the sender is alive and responsive. If the system receives timeout for the configured duration, in this case 3, it can trigger actions based on this failure detection, such as rerouting traffic to other healthy nodes or initiating a failover procedure. Now this is an example of heartbeat with acknowledgement, where nodes send heartbeat signals and the recipients are expected to send an acknowledgement message back to the sender. This ensures not only the node is operational, but also that the communication channel itself is working in both directions. It can also reduce false positives, since acknowledgements are expected. Lack of one can be a strong indicator of a real issue. However, there is a higher overhead. The additional acknowledgements increase network traffic. And it also increased complexity because implementing acknowledgements can add additional complexity to heartbeat system. Now let's also check out some of the other types of heartbeat detection mechanisms and discuss their implications. In a push-based model, nodes or components actively send their heartbeat signals at regular intervals to designated recipients, such as the monitoring systems or other nodes. Now since nodes proactively push their status, potential failures can be quickly identified and it is specially useful for monitoring systems with strict failure detection requirements. However, it causes higher network overhead because each node generates periodic heartbeat traffic, potentially increasing congestion. In a pull-based model, a central monitoring system or a designated node periodically sends are you alive requests to other nodes. The nodes respond with a heartbeat message to confirm their availability. And in this model, the nodes don't send unsolicited messages, reducing overall traffic. The central entity has a clear overview of the system health. However, it may cause slower failure detection and failure detection relies on the polling interval of the central monitor. And so, issues might be detected with slight delay. Heartbeat with quorum is used in a highly distributed system where a majority vote is required to confirm availability. Nodes send heartbeat signals to multiple peers and a node is considered alive only if it receives a quorum or majority 
of acknowledgement responses from its peers. This technique reduces the risk of a single network issue or node failure, causing incorrect failure detection. So it is suitable for highly distributed systems where immediate fault tolerance is required. However, it adds a significant network overhead because heartbeats and acknowledgements are sent to multiple nodes, significantly increasing traffic. It also introduces coordination overhead because managing and reaching quorum consensus adds complexity. Now, heartbeat messages are typically lightweight, low overhead signals or packets that convey a node status or presence. The content of the heartbeat message can vary based on system specific requirements. These messages can be as simple as periodic I'm alive signal or can contain additional information about the sender's status, load or capabilities depending on the use case. And in systems that prioritize high availability, multiple nodes or components often send and receive heartbeat messages. Redundancy is used to ensure that one node or component fails or becomes unresponsive, others can take over its task or responsibilities. Failover mechanisms such as promoting a standby node to an active state may be triggered upon detecting a failure through heartbeat mechanism. Monitoring tools specially can use the information collected from heartbeat messages to assess the health and status of nodes or components. Alerts or notifications can be generated when failures are detected, enabling proactive intervention. Some of the common implementations of heartbeat include simple pings, wherein the servers ping each other at regular intervals, expecting a response to confirm their aliveness. Think of it as a quick knock-knock on the neighbor's door. Gossy protocols is a procedure or process of computer peer-to-peer -peer communication. You can learn about peer-to-peer -peer communication which I have explained in detail with practical examples. It's quite interesting, so do check it out if you have it. Coming back to gossip protocols, servers share heartbeat information with their immediate neighbors who then propagate it further, ensuring everyone stays informed. Imagine you are trying to access a popular news website. Here is how a gossip protocol can be used in a content delivery network or CDN to deliver the latest content to you quickly. The CDN central servers receives a new update on the news website. This could be a breaking news story or a fresh article. The central server gossips about the update to a few nearby servers, let's say server A and server B. This gossip might simply be a notification that a new update exists. Server A and B then gossip with their immediate neighbors in CDN network. Server A might chat with server C and server B might talk to server D. This gossiping continues with each server informing a few of its neighbors about the update. Servers further form the central server receive the information a little later. Now you try to access the news website, a local DNS server directs you to the nearest CDN server which could be server B in this example. Server B having heard the gossip about the update, checks its local cache, it might already have downloaded the update from the central server based on the gossip or through a separate update mechanism. And if the server B has the update, it can serve you the latest version of the news website very quickly. This is because you are connecting to a nearby server with most recent content. Now, in a hierarchical system, leader-based heartbeats are used, where a designated leader collects and analyzes heartbeat data from all servers, offering a centralized view of system health. I have explained the concept of leader election algorithm in detail in my previous video with examples, an important concept to understand in your system design interviews. In fact, Heartbeat forms the foundation of leader election process in distributed systems. Especially in understanding how nodes reach consensus on a leader is crucial for system design. Leader election is the simple idea of giving one process or machine in a distributed system some special powers. Those special powers could include the ability to assign work or even the responsibility of handling all requests in the system. Think of it as electing a president for a committee. Heartbeat is a periodic signal sent by the leader to confirm it's alive. Here is a practical example of leader-based heartbeats in action. Imagine a fleet of delivery drones is tasked with making deliveries in a busy city. Each drone needs to be aware of the location and status of the other drones to avoid collisions and coordinate deliveries efficiently. Before starting deliveries, the drone uses a leader election algorithm to choose the single leader drone. The leader could be selected based on several factors like battery life, processing power, or central location. The leader drone periodically sends out a heartbeat message containing its current location and status. All other drones in the fleet listen for these leader heartbeats. And when a drone receives a heartbeat, it updates its internal map with the leader's location and status. Now, let's check out some of the more common practical examples of heartbeat ingenious encounter. In web services and applications that require high availability, multiple server instances are often deployed to handle incoming requests. Load balancers distribute traffic among these servers. Heartbeat mechanisms are used to monitor the health and availability of server instances. 
each server periodically sends a heartbeat signals to the load balancer and if the load balancer stops receiving heartbeats from a server or detects unresponsiveness it redirects incoming traffic to other healthy servers this ensures that even if one server fails the service remains available to users minimizing downtime in networking heartbeat like messages often called keep alive or hello packets are exchanged between neighboring routers or switches these messages confirm the liveliness of network links and neighboring devices if a router stops receiving keep alive from a neighbor it can consider the link or neighbor as down and reroute traffic accordingly this is crucial for maintaining network stability and routing efficiency now the frequency of heartbeat messages is a balancing act too frequent and you increase the network overhead too infrequent and failures might not be detected quickly enough also time out values must be carefully tuned too short and you risk false positives due to your temporary delays too long and actual failures won't be handled swiftly imagine a scenario you manage a large online store with hundreds of servers handling customer request these servers are spread across multiple data centers now if a heartbeat frequency is set too high say every second failures would be detected very quickly minimizing downtime for customers however every server would be sending and receiving heartbeat messages every second this constant communication can significantly increase network traffic potentially leading to network congestion that is the sheer volume of heartbeat messages could overload the network infrastructure causing delays for other critical data transfers like customer transactions processing and responding to frequent heartbeat messages might also consume precious cpu resources on the servers potentially impacting their ability to handle customer requests efficiently and if the heartbeat frequency is set to too low say every minute network overhead would be minimal reducing strain on the network and servers however a whole minute could be passed before a failure is detected the delay could lead to customer frustration that is if a server handling shopping cart fails customer might experience errors or delays during the checkout for a whole minute before the system reroutes them also during that minute the failed server might not be processing transactions correctly potentially leading to lost orders or inconsistent data so what we need to do we need to find the sweet spot finding the right balance between responsiveness on overhead is crucial for optimal system performance in many cases tools like monitoring dashboards can help identify the ideal heartbeat frequency based on real world system behavior